Hello! We're back in Pleasant Two for Season 2, and today we're joining Meadow Broke. She lives over here in this um, old trailer of uh, Brandy's originally, and uh, she lives together with her family, so that is Dustin and their children. So, here we are in the Broke household, and today is actually a pretty exciting day for Meadow, because this is the day when she's going to start working as um, a kindergarten teacher at the local daycare center. So she's going to have quite the exciting day today, I think. And uh, she's pretty pumped up for <laughs> actually um, joining that career because she's been working in the education career for a while now. But she's been working with um, elementary school children. And um, I think that even though she's been enjoying that quite a lot, it hasn't been like the thing that she's um, the most excited by. She actually loves young children, I think. And I can really see Meadow working in the kindergarten for like the rest of her <laughs> career. <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, I really look forward to putting in, uh, her in that situation and see how she runs with it. So she's having a lazy lie-in together with Dustin right now in the bed. But uh, I think she's pretty excited to get up and get ready for the day. Dustin, on the other hand, was sick with a flu and he was actually at the hospital to get some medicine. So he starts working at nine. And uh, I think it would be good if he could wake up eventually. But I think that he um, has a little bit of a lie-in in in the morning to recover a bit. And then once he wakes up, he's going to uh, take his medicine. And uh, Luke is also in bed still, just uh, sleeping in while Adam has already gotten up. Uh, So he's also excited to get to the kindergarten today as well. So Meadow is going to wake up. She's just going to head to the bathroom to start off, uh, which is a, the toilet is apparently clogged, but <laughs> let's just leave it for now. And little Adam is uh, cuddling with his toy, first thing. But uh, yeah, he needs to use the potty, so let's take this opportunity as well to um, potty train him. Ah, so he's pretty grouchy, so that's why he's... Um, uh, manhandling the teddy bear like that. <laughs> I see. And Luke needs to wake up as well. I think he can uh, grab a shower before school. Right, but he has to wait for his mother uh, to be finished with his um, brother. So let's just say good morning to the cat, I think. Little fuzzy. All right, so Meadow soon needs to be at work, but I think that um, we can uh, whip up something for breakfast before she leaves, because there's a little time left. Let's just serve up some cereal for uh, Luke anyway, (laughs) and perhaps Dustin as well. Dustin, uh, speaking of, needs to wake up. And I'm grabbing the medicine. Oh, they're out of groceries. All right, so they'll have to um, go and buy that today. (laughs) Right, so Dustin is coming out of the bedroom feeling uh, like sickly and uh, pretty dirty and hungry and just uh, (laughs) newly awake. And uh, Meadow is soon having to leave for work. So she's really excited about uh, going. And uh, she tells Dustin that uh, she would uh, really like to when she comes home from work in order to celebrate that she wants to invite over her uh, siblings for dinner. And uh, yeah, she would really like to serve up something for them and just um, celebrate that she has started up her new job. So that's the idea that she's uh, having. But Dustin says that uh, you want to bring your siblings over for celebrating a new job. Are you serious? That's not something to celebrate. Why would you want to to bring people over here just for that? I mean, it's a normal weekday and I'll probably be working late. I've also been sick. Are you sure you want to bring people over here? And he's not really into what Meadow is telling him. 
he doesn't really understand the need to bring family over like that um, just for having dinner in the week <laughs> and he isn't very social so he doesn't really like the thought of having people over like that in the out of the blue and the meadow being so extremely social she is not into what <laughs> dustin is saying she um, doesn't understand his point of view at all to her family means everything uh, family is sort of the cornerstone of her uh, life and she definitely wants to have her siblings over for just anything really so she's annoyed with dustin for not uh, liking the idea and um as she leaves for work, she's not going to be very happy with what he's told her. So um, they're having a bit of an argument in the morning. And that sort of sticks with Meadow as she leaves for work. And Dustin is uh, equally also pretty annoyed. He doesn't want to have people over. So he uh, just <laughs> heads into the uh, bathroom to freshen up and uh, yeah probably grumbling about Meadow <laughs> and her constant need to be social. So, the Brunig family are having their breakfast and Marilina needs to be at work in an hour. So, the kids are going to go to school soon and Joe is of course going to head off to the hospital as well. So, she's just fin finishing up uh, Joe's blueberry pancakes <laughs> and then she'll head off to work as well. Yeah, I think she has to abandon the pancakes because she'll be late otherwise. So <laughs> let's just head out to the Pleasant View daycare center. And Marilina has arrived to work. So now we have to summon in Meadow and all the kids. So we're moving into the uh, daycare center. And I'm going to start with Meadow. There we go. And she already had her work after fit on so I don't have to fix it for her but I need to give Marilina hers and uh, she's in level 4 so education level 4 great and she needs to go here and then we will summon all the toddlers so I have the list here in my spreadsheet so some instructions then is that uh, Randy will be keeping Erin and Tomoe home today and Ophelia, as we saw in the previous episode, she had Aramis at home as well. Uh, and of course Phoebe and Hope, they just staged up so they, they won't be joining us either. But then we have uh, Vanessa, Jacob, Adam, Simone and Micah that needs to be summoned. And once I have summoned them, I of course need to go to family, move in Vanessa. All right, so those are all the toddlers. And I'm pretty sure that I also have to move in Meadow, but let's just double check. So she can greet them. And I also have to go ahead and make Marilina greet all of them. Right, so can you interact now with Vanessa? No, you can't. Okay. Uh, so I actually have to also move in Meadow and then um, I'll have to move her back into a real family later. <laughs> so move in Meadow. Uh, okay, do we have a walk by? It said that Jihun was here. Yeah, so I also have to restrict this again. I think it might have reset. So ban all ages, ban all NPCs. That should be enough. So only then the sims who are selectable will be allowed on the lot. Okay, so now Meadow is part of the family, so she can interact with Vanessa as well. Good. Um, yeah, so she has to also uh, greet everyone. I'm not sure why he's still allowed to be here. Uh, let's just make him selectable quickly and cancel out some interaction. And then make him unselectable again. Should be cleared off now. And he's not, okay. 
Um, that is weird. Let's just clear him off um, like this <laughs> and see if that maybe helps. Goodbye. Um, yeah. Okay, good. So I think that Marilina might have greeted everyone up. No, not Jacob. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that as well. Uh, yeah, otherwise I think it's good. Nice. Okay, so yes, just greeted all of them now. Perfect. So uh, let's start with some potty stuff here. Uh, Vanessa can already use it. She needs to learn how to talk, so we might work on that. Um, and Adam does not know, so he will have to be brought to the potty. And uh, yeah, the same for the rest of them, I think. So let's just uh, have them take one each. So yeah, of course, Meadow wants to take her own um, son. So she's going to bring Adam. And then, uh, yeah, Marilina is going to potty train Jacob. So I really hope that we will see an improvement in how quickly we can get these things done so that they can actually interact more with the children. Uh, because <laughs> in the previous episode, Marilina was uh, handling this uh, all on her own. And uh, yeah, things got pretty rough for her, so. Good, Vanessa is done. Um, so I guess just have her move over there. Okay, so uh, Jacob is also done, so we can um, switch over to Vanessa, I think. Um, oh, sorry, not Vanessa, Simone, I meant. And then uh, Meadow can go ahead with Micah. And yeah, that's of course um, her sister Christie's son. So that makes Micah her nephew, I think. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, it looks like the toddlers want to uh, go outside to play. So I might actually allow them to do that. I think it's a little bit of time left before they have to eat. So it would be actually be nice if we could uh, yeah, have them go outside. Cool. So I'm going to unlock this door and allow them to actually go outside to the playground here. So they have some, uh, some of these things to play with, uh, but I think I can also bring out some stuff because they can't use this, this one, unfortunately, it's just the decorative, but I can certainly put out some toys on it. So let's just put some, some random toys in there that they can play with. Great, and then uh, they should be able to head outside because it seems like they all want to <laughs> ride on the spring, spring animals. Um, good. Oh, and Vanessa, uh, sorry, Simone <laughs> was potty trained. That's awesome. Yeah, so I'm sending uh, Marilina to the bathroom before she heads outside, I think. But uh, Meadow can... Uh, looks like she's already on the way. So... We can also bring him outside there. He's already on his way, good. Uh, okay, he's uh, in the crib, it seems like, or he tried to get in, but uh, I think it's better if he just goes outside. Oh yeah, I think I have actually locked this door only for Marilina. Um, so I need to give Meadow a key for this door. It's also locked. No, good. That should allow Meadow to head into, into that room as well. So yeah, Vanessa wants some social, so I thought that maybe um, Meadow can play with her a bit. Yeah, looks like uh, Adam needs some social, as well as Simone. Let's uh, pick Simone off this spring rider. And we can snuggle Vanessa uh, last time and then put her down. Then Adam needs some social. Oh, she never greeted him. Okay, <laughs> I guess she'll have to do that first then.
Okay, great. So um, looks like it's uh, closing in on uh, the time that we need to eat. So let's start with bringing Simone to the uh, high chair. Yeah, and um, Meadow can pick up with Adam. And I actually think I'm going to move this around a little bit because, um, yeah, I want Meadow and um, uh, Merlina to eventually be able to have lunch together. So I'm going to move this chair, I think, over there. And then this high chair can actually be there um, so that they can sit there and have lunch together later. Let's do it like this. Great, so it looks like Simone wanted to um, go out and play again, but I think it's better if she just heads to bed. So she's going to get in that crib. It's nap time for the toddlers. <laughs> and let's uh, go ahead and uh, lock this door again. Hello, me only. Okay, so Meadow <laughs> went all the way around only to go here where she couldn't actually put him down. So. I see. But Adam is also heading to a uh, crib to sleep some. Meadow can go to the bathroom now. And Jacob also needs to go to sleep. Yeah, and this little guy also needs to get in the crib, and then the toddlers are going to have their little nap time in here. They're also cute when they're sleeping. <laughs> yeah, so Meadow, you can uh, start with your lunch. And wait with eating a little bit meadow so that you can actually eat together. Let's see if I can. Hitbox for this chair is a bit tricky. <laughs> there, good. Great. So now they can actually get to know each other while they eat. <laughs> I don't think that they have interacted super much, no? But uh, I bet they will get closer as they work together. That's nice. Okay, but let's have Meadow sit here for a while more. So they're getting to know each other and uh, they're talking about their families, it looks like. And it looks like uh, a lot of uh, child-related things. <laughs> of course, they're both very similar that way. They really, really, really love children, both of them. Okay, so the toddlers are starting to get out of bed. That's good. And I think I'm actually going to um, make sure that they head out of this room because otherwise they might uh, keep trying to get into the beds, yeah, even though they don't need to. I think I'm going to lock this door and then this door will also get, get locked once everyone is out so that we don't have the toddlers just keep going in here. <laughs> and the last one will be Micah. I think, yeah, Vanessa needs to use the potty, but she's on the way. That's good. And uh, yeah, I think Simone was taught uh, earlier, right? Yeah, so she can also use it. And Meadow, since she's done, she can uh, clean that up and then bring potty train uh, Jacob, I guess. Oh good, Micah is out of the bed as well. So then I can go ahead and uh, lock this door. Good. So, Merlina, I think uh, it would be nice if you went ahead and went here, and Vanessa went here, and then you can take uh, the opportunity to... Oh, good! <laughs> also, Jacob was potty trained. That's awesome. But uh, to actually teach her to um, talk. 
Oh, I guess maybe she can't teach her to talk if she's um, not close enough with her or something. Let's see if we can uh, make that happen if we improve the relationship a bit. Yes, now we can. So we can at least start on it, but uh, yeah, the kids have to leave, uh, <laughs> leave very soon. Guess they only work until three. Oh, cool. Elsa Adam was potty trained. That's awesome. So we only have Micah left then. I think that Me Meadow can squeeze him in at the, the end here. Yeah, so this is of course very helpful for um, their families as well, that uh, the um, kindergarten teachers can actually teach them some skills as well. <laughs> that helps out. Right, but I think that's good enough. Vanessa got some progress on it anyway. So uh, yeah, her uh, mother or father might uh, will have an easy time to actually teach her later. Okay, so that was the end of the workday for both of them. And uh, yeah, what we have to do now is to um, clear everyone off except Merlina so she can leave the lot. Okay, so all of them are, of course, uh, residents. So I think I have to actually go into buy mode and just delete them. Yeah, I think that was everyone. Yes, good. So now only she's left. She can put that away. And the drive home. So we're back with the broke household and uh, of course both Meadow and um, Adam are uh, moved out of the household so they are currently living with the Brunig family so the first thing that I had to do is bring Meadow back and uh, unfortunately one thing I didn't think about earlier was that um, she drove off in the car and since I um, picked her away from this household also the car disappeared um, so I had to keep that in mind uh, next time if I want to move her into well, I, I'm going to have to move her into Merlina's household every time so that I don't actually send her in the car before I have done that. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get it back for now. And it was this one. And uh, yeah, Meadow has a yellow car. And then, yeah, it was about 1000. So let's just cashing them back that money. And then we have to bring out a sim blender to get Meadow back and then uh, of course Adam is going to be away until uh, the afternoon. So Brunig and then it's going to be Meadow and family move in Meadow. Good. Removing this and uh, yeah she is going to be the owner of the car again. <laughs> And uh, yeah, drive to work. Dustin is freshening up. And uh, yeah, little uh, Luke never got the chance to take the shower because his father has it. Uh, but yeah, he's going to leave for school really, really soon. So it's actually going to be his first day at the, the elementary school as well. So I think he's pretty uh, excited about that. It looks like the cat has plenty of food as well, so we don't have to do anything with that. Luke is heading out. And Dustin is coming out as well. So um, he actually recovered from his illness earlier, so he's not uh, sick with the flu anymore. So that's nice. Right, so they will all be off um, at work. All right, so we got a um, chance pop-up message here. <laughs> S-I-M-O-L-E-O-N-S. Simoleons. And the crowd goes wild. Luke has worked his spelling mojo to become the all Sim City Spelling Bee champion. Luke can spell all the way to the bank with his well-earned 225 simoleons in prize money. <laughs> what a clever kid on his first day of school as well. <laughs> Nice. So we have uh, Dustin returning from work and also uh, Meadow. 
So of course they're uh, seeing each other here and yeah. The first uh, thing that Dustin wants is to catch up with Sandy. He wants to invite her over, but I think that's generally a pretty bad idea. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, sure, we can have him um, lock in something like that. Um, apparently that's on his mind right now. He's pretty annoyed with Meadow and her plans for this evening. So yeah, I think he wants to escape somewhere and think about other things. And of course, uh, Meadow coming home from work, she also brought her uh, other son with her. So let's summon Adam as well. And uh, move Adam in. Right, so uh, Dustin is um, picking up little Adam. Yeah, and Meadow um, just goes over here. She is pretty happy about how things went at work and um, yeah she also heads into the house uh, i think she can just recycle that dustin brings the kid in luke is really bored so he's going to watch some tv looks like he picked out a movie but that's not going to give him a lot of fun so um, turn that off and watch instead and then we can change it to kids tube that will be a lot more fun for him we can put down adam meadow is going to go inside so she's going to chat with uh, dustin about her evening plans and um, she tells him that she's been thinking about uh, how they could do things and uh, she has decided that they can uh, Ask Christy if they can come over to her place instead. That way they don't have to bring people over here, but they can um, hang out with them instead uh, at her place. And Dustin isn't really <laughs> that much of a fan of the idea in general, but uh, he um, says that that's uh, way better and that uh, he, can, he can do that if she really, really wants to. So they settle things uh, slightly. But uh, I think that he's still pretty <laughs> grouchy about this whole situation. So um, Dustin is going to, yeah, fill up the pet bowl. And Meadow is going to just call Christy and uh, ask if they can come over. And uh, if uh, Alvin and uh, Russ can also be invited. Okay, so she's still at work right now. So let's just hang out here for a little bit. Meadow can go ahead and unclog the toilet first thing. Okay, nice. So, um, yeah. He needs to go in here and use the potty chair. And I think that uh, Dustin just wants to work out for now and think about other things. <laughs> while he tries not to think about what Meadow wants to do. Okay, so his mother is in the way right now. Let's just hold off for a bit. Actually, seeing as they just have one bathroom, it's pretty cramped in here. I think I need to move out the potty chair. Um, so let's just put it there, I think. <laughs> just uh, cram it all together. Yeah, he's pretty dirty, but I think that um, he's a bit tired. Hmm. I think he can nap on the couch since he's already sitting there. Yeah, Meadow is not good at this, it's taking her an uh, eternity to fix this. <laughs> but now it's done, good. So she can use that, she can have a shower. Yeah, the cat needs some social, so it looks like um, he's uh, reaching out to little Adam for some cuddles. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, good. So Meadow has um, freshened herself up a bit. She can make the bed and then she's going to try to call her sister again. 
And little Luke has recovered a little bit, so he can also grab a shower now. Yeah, I think Dusty needs to stop doing this because he's getting pretty exhausted. I think he can uh, grab a cup of coffee. And let's try calling Christy again. Yeah, so Meadow is uh, telling her um, about um, her job. And um, of course, Christy has also some uh, great new things happening in her life since she's, uh, she's taking over the um, church uh, from Brandon. So she's become the local priest now. So that's also something to celebrate. So I think that Christy is really into the idea of having dinner together, the whole family. <laughs> so yeah, they're agreeing that uh, they'll come over for dinner. This is a little earlier in the day and uh, we are with the Lillard seniors. So Brandon has been spending his day in his art studio in the basement that we created for him last time and he's been taking out all of his frustrations with Bella because yes she seducted him uh, in the church and then uh, they had some fun and then he attended the um, Tellerman's party and saw her make out with uh, Daniel <laughs> Pleasant and yeah uh, he got really really angry with her so um, he has been taking out all of those uh, spurned feelings on his canvas today and created this masterpiece <laughs> so yeah I think uh, in the end that ended up very well for him then <laughs> He got some inspiration. Um, so, uh, Brandy is of course still at work at the hospital creating medicine. But um, Brandon is ready to retire as the local priest. He's dedicated his life to that career, but now that he's an elder and he's going up in the years, he definitely wants to take time off and retire and uh, yeah, kick his feet up and just focus on his paintings, I think. So... We're actually going to go ahead and uh, make Christy the priest instead. So there's a uh, mod that I use for making that possible. And of course, since um, the way that I play the uh, church is that it's an ownable uh, community lot. So what the only thing I need to do is make Christy the owner of the lot instead. So what you do is that you click the sim uh, to get this pie menu and then you go propose transfer lot ownership let's just stop chatting for now <laughs> all right and then you can just pick which one you want it's the church and we're going to transfer it to christy so he shouldn't have the um... oh he has the deed still i guess he will keep having that then uh, but it should be transferred to her now so if he uh, tries to yeah he can only purchase a community lot, he can't sell it or anything like that. So it has been transferred to Christy. So she's now the priest in Pleasant View. So we're with the Stratum family. So that is, of course, Alvin and Rasper. And uh, yeah, they are having their lazy <laughs> afternoon right now. Uh, Rust just came home from work and Alvin has been spending the day together with the dog and the baby. So little Lucky that they adopted from the pen last episode uh, actually did not turn out to be a police uh, dog after all, uh, not a German Shepherd. <laughs> she is actually some sort of mixed breed, um, but I think that works out well as well. So she's really uh, special looking, but I think she's actually really cute, so <laughs> that worked out well. Um, yeah, and uh, Alvin is currently calling his sister, or well, she called him, that is, to let him know that they are planning to um, have uh, the dinner this evening to um, yeah, sort of celebrate uh, Meadow's new position as well as Christie's. And yeah, of course, uh, Alvin being so um, um, good friends with his sisters, uh, he would love to come over and he agrees. So yeah, he's going to hang up quickly because he sees that Lucky is um, <laughs> destroying the furniture right now. So he's going to go ahead and uh, scold her for that. Um, seeing as she's such a young dog, uh, I really need to stay in my toes to <laughs> make sure that she learns that she can't uh, destroy the furniture. She's actually also a dofus, uh, <laughs> so she's going to be a bit tricky to train. But uh, yeah, 
even more reason to be diligent with it. So it's also actually Ryan's birthday today. So before they will leave for Christie's place, um, I'm also going to go ahead and uh, yeah, have him age up. Looks like it's not triggering. Um, I guess I just have to trigger it manually then. <laughs> because he uh, needs to be a toddler when they arrive to Christie's. So that's aging the toddler. Uh, no, okay. Yeah, right. Age baby Ryan. That is how you do it. Good. Need to remove this, I think. There we go, and now we'll get to see what he ends up looking like. Oh, he's sweet. I think actually he looks uh, a little bit like uh, Alvin. That's really nice. He got the uh, green eyes. I'm going to make sure that I have the information that I need about him in my spreadsheet. So, so it's Ryan Bear. Toddler, for one thing. Uh, yeah, I had actually added brown, green, and light. Okay, good. So, yeah. We'll have to see what we can uh, figure out about him. Nice. So, yeah. This little guy has aged up. And, uh, yeah, the family is ready to head out to Christie's. So, Christie has returned home from work. Her last work day as a draftsman. And she's, of course, also uh, received the ownership of the church. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and have her quit her job because now she's got a new job. <laughs> so let's call work. Quit job. Yes. Great. Now she's unemployed, but uh, <laughs> that's uh, how it is with uh, the priesthood. So... Um, we also need to make sure that we bring Micah home from the daycare center. Here we go. And he's also moved in again. So let's tell uh, that. And Chris is going to bring him upstairs. Good. So she's putting him down. And uh, yeah, he can uh, take care of himself for a while. She actually needs to give uh, their dog Benny a bath because it's really filthy. I think he's been uh, rolling around in puddles outside. So she's going to wash Benny. And we need to start uh, planning how we're going to fit everyone in here. It's a pretty big house, but... Um, they have this long table, but it's not going to be enough, I think. So let's think about this. We have Remington and Christy, so they can take two. We have their children, so that's three extra. And then we have Dustin and Meadow. We have um, Luke. And then we also have um, Alvin and Russ. So that's two more. Well, to start off, um, we could actually do this. We could put this there. And this needs to go back here. And I mean, this counter is also usable. So we could uh, put two people there. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe we can't because these things are in the way. Hmm. No. Okay, in that case, I think it's better to just try to fit everything in like this. Let's scoot everything a little bit. Is this possible now uh, that I also put in an extra table down here? Uh, <laughs> we'll have to see. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be like a temporary thing. So I guess you just put in some sort of um, um, garden table. Let's just put this here. Yes, looks like it's actually fitting 
just perfectly. Um, so let's do that, and then just some temporary garden chairs then. They just brought in some stuff from outside, I suppose. Um, <laughs> there it is. I don't know why it was so difficult to find it. <laughs> okay. And that should be enough room for everyone. Because the toddlers aren't going to be uh, sitting at the table, of course. So yeah, unless I've miscalculated, that should work. <laughs> so let's see. And uh, yeah, Remington is, of course, working as a male maid. So he'll be back at uh, 6 p.m. Good, so the dog is clean and we can praise him for behaving in the tub. Micah is not leaving his mother alone. <laughs> Okay, now it's become hostility. So I guess uh, she's going to take a shower as well to freshen up a bit after work. <laughs> it looks like the toddler and the dog are cuddling here a little bit awkwardly inside of the door. <laughs> so that's cute. But yeah, he actually needs to use the potty as well, so... Good, so it's past 6 p.m. So, um, yeah, the uh, guests are going to arrive soon. Remington is also back from work. <laughs> so he's just going to change into his everyday outfit. And yeah, he's got four skill points. So actually, Remington is the better of them to cook. So they need to make 10 servings. So I'm going to bring out that uh, serving size mod. Variable meal server. And let's put it, uh, oh, put it over the fridge. And yeah, set number of servings to 10. Okay, great. So I'm going to bring out a sim blender out here then and summon everyone. Or maybe actually let's do it in here because we got some toddlers as well. So let's start with um, the brokes. Okay then, so we have uh, the kids here as well. And uh, let's bring out an activity table, because then they can play together. I think that would be cute. Yeah, let's just have it in the hallway, because uh, I think it's going to be in the way in the kitchen. Um, yeah, good. So, Christy's upstairs, so she can actually pick up Micah and bring him downstairs. Meal serving, uh, meal size is set to 10, so that's good. So let's serve dinner and um, sure, let's go with, uh, well, maybe actually, maybe some potato gnocchi. <laughs> Not sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> so yeah, at once, Russ is approaching, of course, Dustin. Adam can go ahead and play with blocks. And um, yeah, as can Ryan. I think that uh, Luke can uh, talk a bit with Lydia. So yeah, I think that the kids are going to be pretty tired, but uh, let's just bump it up for now. They shouldn't need to go to bed this early, I think. So Meadow is going to go ahead and uh, chat with her older brother and uh, yeah, Russ and Dustin are going to just go in here, sit on the sofa and chat, I think. Laura uh, should go here. 
little my case getting a bottle now it looks like that's fine and dinner is actually served Hal is uh, sitting down to eat but you can just uh, sit there for now and not start eating um, and I need to position everyone so the kids can sit down here I think a good idea and yeah you can sit up here And this guy can uh, join the play as well, so he gets to know his cousins. <laughs> Great, so Remington is also going to sit down. And they're all going to have a nice dinner together. I'm going to ask all of them to eat. It looks like the kids are talking about music. And uh, yeah, I think actually that it was, uh, yeah. Lydia and Laura's and uh, Luke's first day at school as well. So I think that they all are pretty excited <laughs> to start school. Ali is, of course, um, a lot older. So she's going to age into a teen tomorrow, actually. Looks like they're talking about the uh, friends that they've uh, started to make at school then. And the adults are also picking up on the, uh, the same topics, looks like. So Meadow is done, but I think that she, um, oh, I think she might, uh, yeah, I think she became, yeah, just normal weight. So I think she's going to just sit in the chair, if I can get at it, and keep uh, talking with her family, as should Remington. Dustin uh, moves away from the table, though. He's going to, um, yeah, sit in the sofa again. He's, uh, yeah, not very happy about this. I mean, he puts on a good face in front of the others, but uh, he did not really want to be social this evening. And, um, yeah, I think he escapes to the uh, TV. He's going to watch that for a bit. And the kids are also <laughs> gathering here. Looks like Lydia, at least. Um, yeah, but she's also going to nap again. And that little toddlers are also hanging out here, but it looks like they are all um, starting to need uh, to use the potty and stuff. So I, um, hmm. I think I'm actually going to bring down the potty from upstairs, so we can do that a bit more easily. Adam can already use it, so let's start with him. And Mike is starting to get pretty tired, so <laughs> he'll need to go to bed soon. Looks like Russ had enough of the food, so um, yeah, he's going to go into Dustin and sit and chat with him a bit, I think. And the siblings and uh, Remington are keeping up being sociable with each other, while the kids have run off and uh, both Dustin and... Um, uh, Russ have been uh, gone away. Looks like they're discussing the crime in the neighborhood. Uh, apparently, maybe they're afraid of um, the break-ins that happen from time to time. And uh, yeah, Alvin is like, <laughs> they don't happen that often. <laughs> you don't have to be scared about that and moves on to another subject. Um, yeah, they're having a good time. These guys, on the other hand, uh, Dustin has uh, moved off towards the toilet, but um, right. So Dustin and uh, Russ are uh, just starting to talk about work, really, uh, while they sit here alone, and they both agree that they shouldn't be wasting time here. Really, uh, it's getting late, and they really need to be heading off to the community lots to stake out and uh, keep an eye on things. So, um, yeah, Dustin is going to go inside and uh, tell everyone that they are heading off. And Russ is uh, sort of waiting by the door. So it's just going to, um, yeah, 
say goodbye to Meadow and say that, uh, hey, we need to head out. Uh, and she's um, yeah, going to say, like, you're heading out, but where are you going? Why, <laughs> why can't you stay? You were having such a nice time. And he says that uh, well, he, he needs to head out with uh, Russ. They have something to care, take care of um, that has to do with work. So he re leaves really abruptly together with Russ. Yeah, and they will um, get up to their own things in the night. Things that are not um, for the tender eyes of children. <laughs> I'm clearing off Dustin and um, Russ. And they have left. So um, yeah, these guys are just sitting here. Feeling a bit like, okay, that... Uh, <laughs> Didn't turn out like we thought. Um, and Alvin has been uh, yeah, taking care of his kid. And the meadow is also just, yeah, freshening up a bit. Um, so I think that uh, seeing as it's pretty late now and the children seem to be <laughs> having had quite enough of all of this, uh, <laughs> Micah has gone to sleep in the dog bed. <laughs> I think it's about time that uh, the family is headed out. Looks like I'm missing the dirty state for this counter, so let's make it clean again. Uh, yeah. So Meadow is just going to say goodbye to her sister and uh, thank her for arranging this and thank her so much for the food. Um, it was very nice to, to meet everyone and uh, hang out together. And Christy is, of course, like any time you want to hang out, just uh, give me a call and uh, congratulations again on the new job. And uh, Meadow is, of course, congratulating Christy as well and telling her that she thinks uh, that she'll be brilliant as the local priest. So, yeah, Meadow is uh, picking up uh, her children and uh, Alvin is also heading out with uh, little Ryan. And the Strattons will uh, yeah, put everyone to bed, I think. So all non-residents are cleared off, and I'm going to sell that. I'm going to bring this back up to the uh, kids' room. And this is going back here. And I think that they can actually keep this furniture because they're pretty nice to have for occasions like this. And then I just need to move back that um, this chair in the right position. This little girl is feeling tired, so I'm sending her uh, up to her room to sleep. And yeah, all of them are tired really, so that's just uh, what they're doing. She's already in bed, and uh, little Laura can also uh, go to bed. Micah needs to go uh, get out of the dog bed though, <laughs> because that's Benny's. Remington needs to freshen up a bit before he also goes to bed. Good, so we can move this back here. And yeah, he needs to be potty trained and then go to bed as well. Yeah, he's actually made really great progress, uh, what with the being at the daycare center and everything as well. So <laughs> yeah, he's soon to be potty trained. That's awesome. And then he's going to go to bed on his own, I think. And uh, Christy actually needs to fix the shower down here. Um, okay, so he's in the shower, though. But let's have her go downstairs for now. Because Remington is really bad at uh, those kinds of mechanical things. But Christy is uh, really good at it. That's actually her hobby as well. Tinkering. So she'll fix it really quickly, I think. So let's repair that. And Remington needs to head to bed because it's exhausted. Great, so she fixed it and uh, it's really late now. So she just has to go to bed as well. Yes, and uh, all of them are asleep, I think. Yes. Yeah, so they're falling asleep and that marks the end of their day.
So we're back in the broke household and I went ahead and temporarily moved Dustin in with Christy uh, just so that uh, we simulate that he's not at home right now. And uh, yeah, they left her place at 10 in the evening, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, set our uh, 22. It's 10 p.m. now as well. And that's when they arrive home. Uh, they, of course, just ate. They should be a little bit more tired, I think. So they should not be hungry. He has not eaten, though, so he can be hungry. That's fine. So Meadow is going to bring her boys inside. Luke, I think, can... Um, he wants to do his homework. And... He's a little bit lazy, though. What is his hobby? Music and dance. Hmm, okay. I think... Yeah, he can watch uh, a little bit of TV then. Uh, the music and dance channel. <laughs> Great, so Christy is just um, having a cup of coffee, I think, while um, she takes care of her boys. <laughs> Team station dance. And the cat is sleeping, feeling okay. It's pretty late, so I think that uh, Meadow is just telling Luke to go to bed. It's about time now. She's also going to, um, yeah, bring Adam to bed. Oh no, cat! Why? <laughs> Don't destroy the furniture. <laughs> yeah, so the boys are going to go asleep. So Meadow's just poking around a bit here. And um, someone's calling, but it looks like it's not for Meadow. Let's see who it is. Ah, okay. Ah, no. You just saw each other. <laughs> All right. So it's um, quarter past 11. And uh, this is when uh, Dustin will rock up home. He's just going to casually stroll in while Meadow is uh, feeling exhausted and cleaning stuff up. Meadow is feeling a little bit strengthened by that conversation, even though she's still furious with Dustin and she's really frustrated with him for not speaking to her properly and for not communicating and uh, for just being so 
introvert, I guess. <laughs> Meadow is extremely extrovert, and Dustin just has proven to be very antisocial and um, very inconsiderate as well when it comes to family. And uh, yeah, I think there's something pretty big brewing on the horizon for these two. So Meadow is going to sleep in the bed, and Dustin is currently watching TV in here. Um, but I think that even though they've had a fight, they're still going to be sleeping in the same bed. Um, they're not going to be that angry with each other at this point, but um, yeah. It's going to be pretty strained for a while, I think, between these two. All right then, so Dustin and Meadow have settled in bed, and that is the end of their day and the end of this episode. So thank you so much for watching it, and I hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. Take care. Bye.